Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and we are playing Core Keeper. This is a new one for the channel, just came out in March. It's from the developer Pugstorm, publisher is Fireshine Games. And I jumped in, played a little bit just to get used to it. It's a lot of fun. It's got some really like satisfying feeling to it. But anyway, let's jump right into a new one. As you can see, I did start a world. It was just a test, but let's, let's create something new here. Most important, what do we want the icon to be right there oh actually the skull looks good to me in fact what should the name be we'll call it skull world sounds good I better I better spell it right though right okay there we go done now we've got a character here this is mr. test but uh, we'll create a brand new one here standard character hardcore respawn after dying this is intended yeah we'll go with this one now this is cool we've got it's similar to terraria in some ways except there's a background so what i'm going to do is just randomize until i get a look oh i like this guy with the green spiky hair now we can go to the background and choose what we want here a seasoned farmer with green finger to turn some soil he's got a copper hoe and a watering can three gardening skill oh the fisherman three fish skill ten fishing rod three food rations or the ranger oh okay the range combat skill wood bow through food nomads no like a challenge start here just just you are basically a blank slate explorer running skill small lantern that's cool oops oh whoopsie okay well i think we'll go with minor that's good enough for me all right let's do ryan that's me hello everybody okay here we are jumping into the new world I believe that it's got to generate and then there might be yeah, a little scene here in a place far away from anywhere else. You are a part of a group of explorers making your way through the forest. Feeling a strange presence, you notice something between the trees. God, it looks like a giant eyeball. Drawn to it, you approach this strange relic and raise a hand toward it. Upon touching its surface, a blinding light engulfs you. Very nice, very nice intro there. This is us, looking around. We're in this strange room, it looks like cavern. Looks like our eyeball is covered with roots, so what we can do is just start clearing out the roots and getting some wood here. Now, I'm no expert, like I said, I barely just started playing, but I got the feel for some of the mechanics here of the game. Now, what's cool is there's some things, like you hold down the shift, you pull out your torch automatically, so there are some similarities between it and, for instance, Terraria. You'll probably hear me uh, make that comparison a couple times, but there we go. We've already got some light on this situation. Let's keep clearing out the room because we are, I think it starts you always like in this little sealed cavern. Let's play another torch. We get as much of this root wood as possible. I mean, if we're underground, you got to figure wood might be at a premium, huh? Oh, little mushrooms. We'll grab those, too. Nice new item. All right. Now, my copper pickaxe does have durability on it, but it looks like it's holding up really well. So, I like the, the minor start. That's a good starting condition. I think I chose the gardener when I was testing, and I didn't use the hoe for, for at all. <laughs> so, I think a miner is a good start. Now, I see something over here sparkling. In the wall, I'm pretty sure that means there's going to be some ore down there. So let's pull. Oh yeah, we're getting closer to there. Oh look, got ourselves a whole nother room over here. Not a lot of ore, but uh, let's see what this area has to offer us. Now real quick, we'll take a look, yeah. Got one copper ore out of that. We got some wall, so we can hastily like build a wall behind us if we need to escape 
Uh, interesting. Looks like a dead end, but I do see some more sparkly stuff over here. Let's head in that direction. Now, another thing I should mention is this is, I believe, online uh, multiplayer co-op. So if you've got, I think it's up to eight people total. So if you've got seven other friends who are ready to play, man, game's on sale at currently at the moment of me purchasing and recording this. And of course it is early access, but it's got some phenomenal reviews. Are there, is there more? Yeah, I do see some more sparklies over here. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, there it is. Ooh, is this iron or copper? What are we getting here? I don't see it doesn't show me, does it, as we're picking it up, I don't think. Now it's just more copper. At some point we want to venture back to our little, oh look, water. Yeah, we'll need a bridge over here. We want to head back to our little area, maybe get down a workstation and possibly a forge if we can afford it. So let's hit tab for our inventory. We got a basic workbench. Okay, I don't know why I switched those. There we go. <clears throat> we'll just place this like right here. Okay, now for this, we click E to interact. There's our furnace. We'll grab that. Um, I will grab a little bit of wood, little wooden bridge there. Not, not, not a lot, but 10 of them. That should be enough to help us if we're out exploring. All right, let's get the forge down. I'll put that baby right there. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't take fuel. You just put your ore in there and it starts working. Yeah, see, it's already smelting bars. So we're good on that thing's working. Now, if we come back to this... I think I want to make the full set of wood gear, please. Yes, thank you. Um, I'll grab the wooden sword just in case. Let's put let's put this on. There we go. Hold down shift and left click to auto arm. Now we look like a little a little tree tree stump. I can't zoom in or anything with this. I don't think. Unless like plus minus works. No. Uh, looks like that's as far as we go, but. Let's get some of these mushrooms over here. Yeah, and we'll lay down another torch at the corner. So, we are back to the caves. Let's check the map here. Oh, okay. Is that it? There's a, there's a bunch of little buttons down here. I don't know what those do necessarily yet. Haven't explored the map much, but you can see it's like... Yeah, it's, it's opaque, or transparent, I should say. Mostly. But here we are. That's cool. That, that's helpful a little bit. I can see there's definitely something up here in this direction. Let's just dig in this direction, see if we uncover anything. I see some more ore to our right. Oh, I love the functionality of the torch. Look at this. Look at this. So we could either put a bridge right here or I can just take the wall out. <laughs> Go around the corner there. Okay. Oh, we got some more wood very important probably to get all this wood i'm guessing i'm guessing <gasps> oh snap my first enemy come here you now we do need to be like our cursor has to be in a certain direction so that's just me moving my mouse if 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 i have swing but the enemy's behind me and i've got the cursor i'm being lazy not paying attention it won't work so that's something to remember this there is directionality here i think in the game which is good actually that makes you be more aware stay more uh, alert of your surroundings what's going on come here you oh yeah oh getting a little bit of mushroom action for loot okay there's also these little critters and stuff you'll see i don't know if we can catch these look there's like a roach right there or something you can step on them but i don't know if we can actually catch them or not Oh, buddy, you're just like a punching bag. That's basically your whole existence. Okay, let's keep exploring here. We're going north. We're going north. I wonder if there's like an overworld or... I mean, it is like a mining game, essentially. So I don't know if there's ever like a place we get to where it's like outside. We get under the sky. This looks interesting over here, though. I see what are either chests or crates, possibly. And it's like a, a sand biome. So let's go through this wall. Could possibly be dangerous. Almost certainly will be. But what what's the fun in staying at home and risking nothing? 
We've got a smorgasbord. Oh, dude. What? It's the first time I've been hit. What is that thing? Looks like a friendly. It's hard to tell. Oh, that's dumb. Are these things friendlies or what? Are they going to kill me if I break through this wall? <laughs> oh, it's super easy. It's like it is sand. It must be sand. Sand wall. Super easy to get it. <gasps> Hello. Hi. E. This animal's hungry for plants. Bomb pepper? You want a bomb pepper? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing to feed him. Um, name. Wait, what? Oh, are we naming the animal? Cow is hungry for plants. So is he like my animal now? Or? Oh, I just hit him. Bro, I was just trying to get these crates. I wasn't really going for you while well, I was testing. Is he losing health now? That's interesting. Huh. All right. Well, it is an early access game, too. I don't know, like, the extent of uh, how finished it is. I should have read up a little bit on it, but I didn't. This is, like, a very peaceful area. Dude, this is probably where we should build our starting base. Look, there's trees and stuff down here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where our base is going to be. For sure. Listen to the music. It's so happy. Oh, I might have to turn it down a bit. Okay, I turned it down a tad. That's There's not a lot of options there with the slider, but if you guys want to back up, let me know. But uh, for right now, this is a little bit, little bit nicer. But this is a sweet spot here with these cows, potentially, like being tameable. <gasps> I thought that was a chest. Bro, we got some tin ore. I got a mechanical part, an old amulet, too small to be worn by a human. Interesting. Was like gnomes live down here or something? Pet pellet. What? Did we get this after I, like, tamed the beast? <laughs> How did I tame it, though? Did I just walk up to it and tame it? Interesting. Wow, wow, wow. I feel like we should go back to our little... The core. It's, this is not that far, but I want to get my workbench and my forge and the little bit of copper ore that's over there. And let's bring it over to this place. I want to make this the... Oh! Come on, bro. Do so. Oh, he just ran right into the wall. Did you see that? Oh, what a dummy. All right, was this the way I came? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't remember that guy being there. He must have grown. He must have sprouted while I was uh, exploring. All right, we'll pick that up. What's this doing? <gasps> we'll take that. We'll get that. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, we are back in our biome here. I'm going to clear out some of these walls. Oh, bro. I'm sorry, cow. I don't want to kill him just yet. Maybe we will. But I don't know if we can breed them or what, but it'll be interesting to find out. Keep as many alive for as long as we can, at least. But yeah, I'm going to kind of just dig out and explore. Interesting. Make like a little little beach area here around this pond. That's cool, a little walkway. Nice. Okay, I like that. I was thinking this would be a good spot right here. There's another entranceway. Maybe we can make a door or something there. What, what about this grass? Tall meadow grass. So it does tell me when items are added. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, meadow bush. I'm just gonna, I guess we'll move this stuff. I don't know if it's got any value whatsoever, but I'm just gonna get it out of here because we will be building. What is this? What was that? Potted meadow tree? Why is there a potted tree here? <laughs> There's another one. Oh, he says he's quite hungry. Oh. <gasps> Okay. Fiber. Mmm. Oh, we can eat the mushrooms. That's right. Nice. So this is his hung... Yeah, that's his food bar. We got plenty of them, but I think it's better if we cook it. Increase damage. Health. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, we got to remember to eat. Thankfully, it, he's got a little pop-up. Tells me whenever <laughs> I forget, but this is awesome. I want to leave the tree. Now, my question is... Should I be, like, placing these walls and stuff? Not dirt. No, I need to make, like, I guess my own walls, probably. Let's go to our crafting table and get our... What? Sometimes it's weird. You gotta place... I'm used to placing, like, the middle of... put Putting the, you know, the, the picture of the item in the middle. But it's actually the arrow. So you put the arrow in the middle. Throws me off. But anyway, let's see here. So we got those in our hot bar. Let's now place them... 
about right there-ish. Oh, this is going to be great, guys. I'm going to put... <gasps> I'm out of torches. I just realized I was going to say I'm going to put some torches down, but I can't do that. I wonder how we get a bigger bag at some point. Okay, so we don't have any more of that, but let's check this bad boy here. Okay, I've got some copper on me now. Feeding tray, copper workbench, salvage and repair stick. What does this take? Eight wood, six copper. I guess we pretty much have to build that. It's part of the progression, I imagine. Right, let's put it there. I'm gonna put a torch back here. Okay, and let's see, what does this one do? Mmm, nice. Oh, we can make that, uh, although I don't need it right now. Copper hoe, oh, wooden fishing rod. I'm gonna start fishing at some point. Wait, belt pocket, five slots, there we go. Definitely taking that, what do I do with it? Hoe goes right there, I guess. I don't see the extra slots, hold on, let's see. Wait, what do I? Oh, okay, there it goes. Got it, got it, so we equip it right there. Very cool. Neat, we're figuring stuff out. Oh, I guess I should probably build a chest, too. We'll need one of those. Actually, let's start our chest collection, like, right over here. Can I, I wonder if I can, like, rotate it. That nah, doesn't matter. I knew, It says we can paint it, I think. But let's dump some of, like, the stuff I don't think I'm going to need right away. Oh, there's more copper ore. Yeah, the walls, I don't really need those. I don't know about fiber. Pet pellet, I'll hold on to that. Seeds we'll keep, but use later, probably. Scrap parts. I think that's, we need the salvage bench or something for that. Oh, and I have food rations, too. Okay. Put these back a little bit farther. Looking good. Oh, we got the tin ore. All right, we're in business. We're in business. I will keep the pet pellets down here. Good. Nice. All right, let's get this ore put in here, and then we're going to, whoops, I just ate something, didn't I? We're going to be on our way. Do some more exploring, I think. All right. Very good. Now, I don't really want to open this up just yet because this is like our base, our little home. So let's just explore around a little bit farther. We can open up over here. Or, let me look here. Let's, let's go south. Oh, there's a big ore pocket right there. I can see it. All right. Let's, let's head in that direction. Got plenty of torches. 44 of them. Now my question, is there like a smart mining thing? I don't know. I'm hitting control, but it's not really showing me a cursor. Although it's doing pretty well. It's not like hard to control it or anything. Okay. Oh, this is super easy to mine. This must be straight sand right here. Oh, this is nice. <gasps> oh, big old room. I don't know. What is this? Oh, <gasps> dude. It's like orange goo. Bro, it's like McDonald's orange high C. Make me super thirsty. Look, that's what it is. What's up, guys? <gasps> oh. Why don't you go run into the wall again, dummy? <laughs> oh, nice. What did he give me? Anything unusual? Ooh, we got some more ore. These guys aren't that tough. Man, I can't wait to get like some more exotic weapons and stuff. Stupid swords. I hate swords. All right, let's go. Now, there, here's our original core. So this is kind of what I wanted was to open it up so we can get to it real quick, you know, if needs be, and from multiple directions. Go ahead and pop this, babe. Oh, what is that? We just discovered a chest, ladies and gentlemen. How do I... Oh, interact, probably. Wait, what? Do I pick it up? Locked copper chest. Hold on. How? A crew chest made from copper with heavy chains strung around it. Could be opened with the right key. Okay, cool. Well, we got some loot from that, at least. Our little excursion. My copper pickaxe is getting a little low. Health's doing okay, despite getting pounded by the high C Kool Aid. Uh, oh, a running just went up. All right, let's see what this area is. Looks like there's some glowing stuff down here. Maybe a new biome. Lots of good iron. Or, I'm sorry, lots of good ore. It's not iron, though. It's copper. Okay. 
Interesting. I think these are little plants here. Yeah, look, little blue flowers that glow. Glow, glow tulip. Glow tulip and glow tulip seeds. How beautiful. Let's get this wood. Anything else? Don't forget, I've got the bridges, so I could literally get across there if I want to. Look at all those tulips right there. I think we'll go there. We just got to basically carve a way through. Pretty straightforward. Oh, look. More of those bomb peppers. I wonder if we can craft those up into something explosive at some point. That'd be kind of cool. Ah, here we go. What's in the water, bro? You see the bubbles? Yep, that's fishing right there. All right, I got to get down. Got to get down with some fishing. I have a feeling this game is going to reward you heavily for fishing. I really don't know. I'm just guessing. But <laughs> there could be like a very, very basic fishing setup so far. Just like a placeholder. And I don't even know about it. All right, what are we getting from them? Slime. An orange blob can be further processed. Well, it better be. What good to me is it just raw slime, right? Whoever had a use for that. All right, we got some good wood right here. Ooh, we just got a root seed. We're going to plant our own roots one day, boys and girls. We're going to grow up. <gasps> Can't get me. Can't get me. <gasps> Ancient gemstone? What is that? Strange blue emitting waves of energy. You think it's like, I don't know, a crafting item? Or maybe it grants us mana power? I don't know. There's a lot of these stupid things out here, though. Ooh, they're kind of powerful. Get them, get them. It's just a race to... Oh my... Is that a boss slime or just like a... An object? <gasps> what was in that? More gems and more slime bow. What is this? Heart berry. Okay, okay. Um, Let's eat the heart... Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should probably eat that. I need to eat something. My health's a little bit low. A little bit low. All right, let's keep keep pushing. I see something else sparkly over there. I want to investigate it. Oh, my God. These things are so gross and yet strangely appealing at the same time. Is that weird? Come here. Come here, you. Nah, but the, an the artwork is very nice. Very, very good. Well done. Okay, yeah, that's the sparkly I was seeing is more fishing nodes, apparently. Let's take a quick peek here. Uh, we're not too far. We're just basically south of our base area. I have a feeling once we get a little bit farther in the game, we'll we'll feel like this is just next door, basically. You know, I'm gonna start backtracking though. I think we've made some good progress here. I've got tons of ore now though, so it's we've got well 11. It's not tons, but it's time to get back. I think I might stop off if I see like a little bit of ore here and there. Maybe I'll backtrack. Oh, but look at my pickaxe. Yeah, I'm going to need to actually probably repair that baby, if possible, or just make a new one. Not sure. But this is worth it. A little bit of a detour here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have made it back to our little base here. I hope this is a good, valid location, because I'm really enjoying it. I like the look of it. It's very homey. But uh, we've come away with some really cool loot, enough so that I think I can justify a second chest now. Um, we've advanced a little bit. You know, we've got our wood suit on. We're going for copper, obviously. But uh, I'm enjoying this game, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you want to see a full series on this one? Because I think I might just go ahead and make a couple extra episodes here, just in case. But uh, like I said, leave me a comment down below hit that like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the content and i will see you guys on the next episode